Okay, next, uh, Wendy and Sal Tutorici. As I stand before you tonight, a person who was elected, shame on you. My husband is a 9-11 first responder, and so am I. He got cancer from protecting others. You see, naturally, I'm trained to run into an environment and think about others before I think about people like you. You, as a board of elected by community, failed my daughter. You failed to establish mechanisms to prevent abuse, to prevent the atrocity that happened down that hallway to my 13-year-old daughter. My daughter was sexually abused in this school, in a hallway, on a camera, by your teacher, Jenna Shabika. You let this predator in our school. No denying, she's on video. A teacher who I've since learned through your peers, your employees, your employees, has a history of problems, sexualized conversations with children, bullying peers, intimidation, misconduct. Your teacher was moved from school to school for her actions. Your teacher with the disciplinary actions was kept in this district. She molested my daughter. The school failed to establish rudimentary training policies and mechanisms that are required teachings for the state to identify and protect against foreseeable harm to our students. Now it gets worse. It gets worse, right? My daughter, our daughter, after being sexually molested in your school, in your hallway, she then has to return to school and return to the accuser's classroom so we could figure out how to deal with this public molestation. How about that? How about she had more torment in a classroom, in a building filled with adults, and she got more torment? Well, you figured it out. Sexually molested in that hallway, touched on video. The school failed to see the situation for my child. Then when the damage was done, the lawyer in this district writes me a letter. And I'm going to quote his line. If anybody should be aware of this teacher's proclivities, I hope you know the definition of that, it should have been Jane Doe's parents. He blamed me for what happened down that hallway. Your teacher, Jenna Shabika, molest my daughter in school. Send me a letter. The lawyer's in this room. He's in this room. And he said it was my fault. Gotta direct your comments to the chair, please. I got three minutes right here. Come over, Sal. I got six. Go ahead. Good. He sent you start me the this three minutes letter. Now, please. Come on, my husband has cancer. He's got chemo throat, I'll talk for him. He sent me this letter, I have a copy, that it's my fault my daughter was sexually abused at school. I said the quote by a teacher, you failed to protect my daughter from. I hope that you are not remembered for the ethical complaints in Florida. You know what you're gonna be remembered for? For the guy who blamed sexual assault on a child in school by her, to her parents. You blamed us. You can't make up this kind of stupid, can you, folks? You can't make it up. I ran to the fires in 9-11. I saved people like you. Who's running to my fire? You are a disgrace. You can't even terminate Jenna Shabika. She resigned, 16-year pension, publicly boasting about a change of career. Luxury, right, to resign. You sent this predator back into the world. 
at times. I can't, I don't even have the ability to comfort my daughter. She suffers day and night with depression, anxiety, uncontrollable fear. But that's because of some people in this room. The lawyer, that's our voice. In fact, you know what? This is the start. It is going to be my mission in New Jersey to let them know how dangerous this school is. This school district is. I'm going to let them know that it's a school environment, in my opinion, run by victims counseled, by ethical, questionable, incompetent, victim shaming that guy right there. And now I have the motivation and I have the courage to speak like never before. I am Lily's mom. You have hands as dirty as Jenna Shabika. See all these people? This is Lily's mother, father, aunt, uncles, and cousin. Look at them in the eye. When you enter this building, a child was molested down that hallway, touched in ways she should never have been. And that guy right there, blame me. I am going to make sure every news media outlet knows it, every newspaper knows it. You're going down for victim shaming and confidence. And I want you to know that lawyer up there is your voice. Your voice. He represents each and one of your children. Next up, um, no, I'm sorry, hold on, I, you know, I don't, I'd like to make a motion for new counsel.